Yes, yes, new CPUs on the way. Could we have an 8-core laptop soon? Imagine that. and 5 watt CPU parts. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys, head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! So if you don't know what these are, they're basically the replacement for the CPUs that go into the XPS 13, you know, your ZenBooks, HP Spectres, you know, the MacBook Pro that has the actual function keys, the escape they call it, those sort of laptops. And also the CPU that goes inside a MacBook, the XPS 2-in-1, they're updating those as well. They're called the Y series. The other ones are called the U series, the Ultrabook parts. So if you like these type of videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up there and make sure you subscribe because I will always keep you bang up to date with new CPUs and new graphics cards so you do not buy something that is obsolete when you can just wait a month or two and something new is going to come out. I will always keep you up to date with that. I guarantee you that. So I would say now, if you're interested in buying, say, an XPS 13 or something like that, wait because these CPUs will be dropping very soon. So when it comes to the U parts, the 15 watt parts, we have the i7-8565U. Looks like they've just added a five on the end. They're still called eighth generation. It was meant to be called Whiskey Lake and Amber Lake and all this rubbish. I'm over this lake stuff, to be perfectly frank. They are all quad core. We also have an i5-8265U and an i3-8145U. So the i7-8565U, has a base clock speed of 1.8 and a turbo speed of 4.6. And it also has two more megabytes cache over the i5 and the i5 has two megabytes cache over the i3. The i3 is a dual core, so watch out for that. Do not buy the i3. Make sure you buy the i5 or i7. Now there's not much to say about these parts. They're gonna have a small performance increase. Yes, they will. Better battery life, supposedly. They're supposed to have better Wi-Fi. So faster Wi-Fi using less battery power and a small performance increase, as I just said. Don't feel bad if you have a current generation, say XPS 13, Spectre, whatever, with the current quad core 15 watt part, because really there's not gonna be that much of a difference. But what I will say, obviously, if you're in the market now, wait. Of course, you want the latest one. If it has a bit better battery performance and better Wi-Fi, why not just wait to get the latest? They're also updating their Y series. So these are the ones that sort of like are in the XPS 13 two-in-one. You know, they're the low powered parts, you know, five watts. They're only dual core as well, but they can crank up. Say the XPS 13 2 and one they can actually crank them up to nearly 15 watts anyway for a short period. But they're not great performers and they're probably going to end up in the new MacBook, the new XPS 13 2 and one or whatever replaces the MacBook Air. They'll probably use this part to keep the cost down. And if they do do that, especially in the MacBook or the MacBook Air replacement, it's sort of a non-starter for me. I don't like these wide processors or they've got a bad name like the M processors. I don't know why they call them i7s or i5. They're not. They're, they're five watt parts. They're very low powered and they're only dual core. So I would steer clear of a laptop like that unless you've just got basic needs or unless you're like my man Ash. What the f*** just happened? You cannot stand the sound of fans. Yeah, that they will all be fanless, those laptops that have those Y-series parts. You can see them up here on this chart. So that's it with these new 15 watt and five watt parts. Minor upgrades, if you're gonna buy a laptop, wait, you might as well wait until these drop. Having said that, it's definitely not worth upgrading or anything like that. It's not gonna be a big deal. But also later this year, in say October, they're gonna release the new desktop parts. So your mainstream desktop parts, Parts to replace the 8700K, you know, stuff that goes in mainstream PCs, gaming PCs, and they're going to have an i9 with eight cores. Now, this pretty much means that probably early next year, maybe Feb, maybe April, when they release the refresh of the current eight generation 45 watt parts in laptops now, like, like XPS 15, MacBook Pro, ZenBook, Razer, Aero, they would usually follow suit with the desktop part. So that means next year, there will be an i9 eight core CPU going into laptops. 
It'll only be the i9. So, you know, other laptops this year that have come out with these eighth generation processors don't have the option of i9, like the Aero, like the Razer. They're not giving you the option of the i9. The XPS 15, you can get it. The MacBook Pro, you can get it. Now, it costs three, four hundred, depending on where you're buying it, more than the i7. So, I think for these companies not to have an i9 next year with these 45 watt parts, presuming they do follow the desktops, which usually they do, I don't see no reason why they wouldn't have an i9 eight core part. I think it would actually be suicide for these companies not to have the i9 option because you're talking about an extra two cores here. You know, you're going to get that same leap you got from going to four cores to six cores, you know, that 30% or so. Add another 30% on top of that with the i9. It's going to have more cash, two extra cores. It's going to be a big bump in performance. Now, the i9 now is probably not worth getting because really a little bit more cash and faster clocks, it's not a big deal. But when you add in an extra two cores, that's a game changer. Now, for gaming laptops, I wouldn't even worry about the i9. Having eight cores versus six cores is not going to make a difference for gaming. But when it comes to content creation, it's going to be a game changer. So I'm really excited for what comes next year in the XPS 15 and hopefully the Razer and the Aero will follow suit and give you an i9 option. MacBook Pro I expect to do the same sort of thing but who knows how long their update will be. But imagine that next year an XPS 15 with an RX or GTX 2050 that has performance of a GTX 1060 with an 8 core i9 part. Imagine that. Imagine that. The power. And even if they brought it to the MacBook Pro, imagine they have Vega graphics in the MacBook Pro and an i9 8 core. And hopefully Razer, Gigabyte, MSI, they will get the memo too and give you the option of the i9. I think if they don't, they're just dead in the water there. They need to have the option of the i9. This year, I understand they skipped it. That is perfectly acceptable because it is just a clock speed boost. But next year, when we're talking an extra two cores, they're not going to refresh it this year. They've only just released the eighth generation 45 watt parts. It's going to be early next year, late April this year. So expect at the same sort of time next year. I don't think they'll be moving on to 10 nanometer. I think they'll follow suit with the desktop parts and we will have an eight core i9 in laptops Woo! imagine how good that's gonna be anyway look thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you next time Woo! tellio